dogs, if not more, in a certain area. Uh, some dogs tend to move. Um, a friend of mine is working on a dog that just travels, you know, three to five miles a day and is just run, on the run. And there's no rhyme or reason as to where they're going, what they're looking for, what they're trying to find. Mm. So the the sightings are the most important part of you know, where do you trap. And then once you know the dog is in a certain area, then the placement of the trap, the baiting of the trap um, it requires a lot of strategy of, okay, the dog's been seen running between these three or four houses. Where do we need to put the trap and the camera and the feeding station out there so that, uh, you know, we get the, the best chance of having that sighting and then placing the trap. Mm-hmm. Now, Carmen, what do you tell people um, when, you know, you're getting ready to uh, set the trap and about the sightings? Because we know that it's very important that they don't tell everyone on Facebook where the sightings are. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so yeah. explain to us, you know, that that's um, method that, you know, you would explain this to uh, somebody because they don't, they don't get it. You know, I mean, they really don't get it. I don't. And nothing, I mean, it, it gets very irritating when you are actively working on a lost dog case. Not good. Um, so I just try to make sure that people understand that while I need them to keep a list of the sightings and locations and dates and all that good stuff, um, we don't necessarily want to share that with the general public because people will try to help. That's just their nature, which is great. We want their help, but we don't want them going to the area the dog was last seen in, actively searching for that dog and pushing that dog further away. If you're getting offers, you know, if people are reaching out to you, hey, I saw you lost your dog. I'm so sorry. What can I do? What can I do? Hand them a stack of flyers and say, go put flyers up for me, please. That would be great. And, you know, if people are getting pushed on Facebook or on other social media to, you know, well, where was he last seen? You know, people will do that. Just kind of trying to get as much information. What I normally tell people to say is that, you know what, we are still getting active. You know, we're still actively having sightings in this area. Please just continue to keep an eye out. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've gone as far as deleting the comments if they post. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and then I have right. to tell yeah. them why because you know um, it is just awful. One of my volunteers, who is my best search uh, and pet recovery person, she's amazing, and um, you know she told me she was out trying to get this dog and. It was, I guess, a escaped rescue dog or something. And so everyone from the rescue was there with, you know, they're all like all around this cul-de-sac, mm-hmm. a ton of them, you know. And uh, mm-hmm. she was just like, okay, everybody, you need to leave, but they don't want to hear that, you know. Right. Well, why don't you tell us that... why? Tell us why, Bob. Why do they have to go? <laughs> why don't they go? <laughs> no, why do they well, have to go? <laughs> So I think some of it is, you know, well-intentioned people, they do want to help. They just don't know, you know, anything about lost pet behavior. Uh, But you do get some people who just want to be a a hero. Oh, every dog loves me. I I can go out and catch this dog, especially if it's been one that has been hard to catch. They're, you know, they're probably thinking, oh, what, what a bunch of idiots. They can't catch a dog and I'll just walk right up to it and the dog will come to me, which, you know, is absurd. Um, some people actually, if there is too much commotion, too many people out there, they will actually post, oh, the dog was seen, you know, a mile down the road <laughs> and to kind of distract people because it, sometimes That's it's necessary. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you have to control the situation. You have to control the flow of information. And if you don't, that dog's life is at risk. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, you know, talking about the calming signals, etc. as soon as, um, we get to this point where that's necessary to, to uh, instill in people, they still don't want to hear it, you know? Um, Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's, it's a tricky thing because, you know, the owner doesn't want to hear my dog won't come to me. And sometimes we have found that if a dog's been lost a long time and the owner just hangs out for a little while, it will come to them. But many times it won't. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
but they, yeah. you, you can't get it through. I, I've actually talked to people after I've caught their dog because, you know, I did the initial walkthrough of this, you know, this is what your dog is thinking. Your dog is not going to come to you, you know, no matter what, you know, no matter what you think, no matter how long you've had your dog in survival mode, they just don't, you know, they don't respond. They think of you as a threat. Uh, and I've talked to them afterwards and they're like, yeah, we didn't, we didn't believe you, you know, until now, now that we see what, what actually happened. And their thinking is like Carmen said, or you said, it's, it's my dog. My dog will always listen to my voice or see me and just come running happily over to, to jump up in my lap. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. We wish it did. And, <laughs> yeah. There, there's actually, and I don't know exact numbers, but out of a hundred dogs that get out, you know, a certain percentage will just try, you know, wind up coming home if, if not chased, if not called, if not yelled and screamed after or chased with a four wheeler, uh, a lot of dogs will come home. Uh, some dogs will go up to somebody else. Some dogs unfortunately disappear. Uh, and some dogs just need to be tracked or trapped. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where you come in with um, your trap design, etc. Why don't you guys take, because this has flown by again, take a little time, each of you. Uh, Bob, you can go first and, you know, tell everybody about how to reach you, how to see any of your information online so that if they are in need of your expertise, they know how to get a hold of you. Okay. Uh, well, the Lost Animal Resource Group is, the website is www l a r g cares c a r e s uh it's basically large without the e and cares dot org so large cares dot org uh we have facebook which is facebook dot com slash large cares and again that's l a r g c a r e s uh that's pretty much how anybody can get to us we have a form on uh, Facebook, uh, with a link to a form to fill out that gets our, uh, the information to us so we can jump on the call and, and help people as quickly as possible. And we're actually, we're, we're so overwhelmed. We're working on, uh, a better platform to be able to, to help more people. Okay. All right. And how about you, Carmen? Could you tell everybody how they can reach out to you? Of course. So, um, large cares as well and then they can also go to my website which is tracking specific and that is professional pet trackers.com okay yeah it's um it's important to note here that you guys do cover nationwide but uh mostly the east coast correct correct, correct. and you are I mean, happy to coach... talk with them over the phone yes oh yes okay we've coached people uh in England, uh, Canada, all over the country, um, just because a lot of it is, is basic, simple steps of, you know, not chasing, not calling, putting out the food at the house and just trying to encourage the dog to come home. But, yes, we, we do work all over the place. Okay. Is there anything else you've got about it? <laughs> What's that, Carmen? It's actively accepting volunteers. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's It's been like, it has been overwhelming lately with lost pets. Everybody I talk to, I don't know what's happening. I really don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's very so, sad. Yeah, it is very sad. Well, I want to thank you both again for being with me. Um, I started out a little backwards <laughs> only because yeah. we left off the other one talking about the Missy Traps. And um, so I wanted to make sure we got that in before we went on to other things. <laughs> so... Um, but I'm sure you have that information on your website, correct? So somebody could uh, look up more about that if they needed uh, to. Because I did have somebody ask me about Missy Traps before, and I wasn't really sure where to turn them to. Actually, that's you know, something you can, you can put up on our website. Go to the website, and then if they reach out to us, we'll be able to – because not every animal is going to need a Missy Trap. Right. And so we don't want to give too much information okay. that – might not be useful. However, you know, if they send us a message on Facebook or email or whatnot, then we'd be happy to discuss their specific cases with them okay. and what we might, you know, what the best course of action would be. 
Okay, because I've only had one person ask that, and I wasn't exactly sure who to uh, send them to, so I'll know next time that we can send them to you. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys again. And uh, just real quick, you can go on large.cares, and that's L-A-R-G-C-A-R-E-S dot org. And uh, Carmen's webpage is professionalpettrackers.com. So thanks again, Carmen Brothers and Bob Swenson from um, your organization, Lost Animal Resource Group, again. And sorry, I'm stumbling on my words right now. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day. We That's had a hurricane right. yesterday, so I'm a little oh, like, no. oh, my. Yeah, it was a little one. It was no big deal. So <laughs> Hopefully everybody's safe. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but we had a lot of pets missing, and so it's been a little crazy wow. the last couple of days. But, um, yeah, so thanks again, guys. So remember, everybody, that a lost pet can't tell anyone where it lives, so please be sure they're microchipped and wearing their ID tags. And if they are chipped, be sure that chip is registered and up to date. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, take care and keep your pets safe.